the biggest story for me and the reason I wanted to kind of bring you on is is, is Reams, right? Like they've kind of just gone on this run with Will Still and uh, Fl- Florian Balogun, I believe is how you say his name. As an Englishman, I should probably know how to say that one. But sure. what's kind of been, how has this all kind of occurred and what's the vibe around them right now in, in Ligue 1? Oh, that's, that, how has this occurred? That's a really good question because everybody is asking that. E- everybody. I mean, they they didn't start the season. They didn't start the season well at, at all, mm-hmm. and and then suddenly there's this this incredible turnaround, and and it's this guy who nobody's heard of, mm-hmm. who nobody had heard of him. Will Still, who, who's he? Who is he? He's as far as I gather, he 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 was born in England, grew up in in Belgium actually, and um, he took over. And he's just, he's gone his first 12 games unbeaten in, in Ligue 1 because he lost his first game the other day uh, in, in the Cup against Toulouse. That was his first game. I think it was must have been about his 14th or 15th fixture okay. um, in, in, in charge of, of the team. He was, he, was, he was part of the backroom staff uh, previously and then just got, just got promoted. And everybody thought, well, he's, he's, you know, this is just an interim. I think actually... The, the club thought he was an interim as well. I, I thought, I think that they thought, well, we've got this guy on hand. Let's just throw him in um, because we don't know really what, what, what to do when, when, when they got rid of Oscar Garcia. Mm. And um, I mean, he's now unsackable. 12, 12 games <laughs> unbeaten. Um, it, it just incredible. He's going he's gonna to be coach until the end of the season. If it continues like this, he, he will almost certainly be given the job beyond that. How that progresses afterwards, that'll be that'll be interesting. But he, he certainly got the, the 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 team firing. And as you mentioned, he's got following Balogun, who's on loan from Arsenal and is is just has just found an amazing streak of form in, in, in front of goal. He's the he's the leading scorer in Ligue 1 right now. And there was talk that maybe Arsenal uh would would you know, rescind the loan in the in the January transfer window and take him back. They haven't done that, uh, so Balogun still at at um, still at still at uh, Reims until the end of the season, which is amazing news for them. Um, mm. And I think, I, I mean, he's obviously going to go back to uh, he's obviously going to go back to to uh, to to Arsenal if he continues like this, or somebody else somebody else comes in with a with a, with a big uh, with a big bid for him. But fourteen fourteen goals in, in twenty one games, twenty one years old. He's twenty two in in July. He looks like he's got a massive a massive massive future. I think unfortunately for Reims, they will always be known as the team where he made his name. Mm-hmm. But it's not. He's, it's not going to be the team where he's going to spend a very long time and, and almost certainly not beyond this season. Yeah, it's, uh, I guess, some of a similar story when, like, Romelu Lukaku was at, like, Everton and West Brom, right? But he was just kind of made his name there, but nobody nobody really remembers that till you see it on the paper. But I was looking to him, Balogun, this morning. There was links to him to AC Milan, and I, I'm sure a lot of fans over there are thinking, well, thank you, Eddie and Ketien, for actually scoring some goals for Arsenal and not having to send him back. But just on the will still, I, I was looking through, and, like, I'm sure when people see him, it's like, oh, well, his name rhymes, and that's about all I know about him. And then <laughs> he was the manager of the Preston under-14s team. But is it true that every time he manages, they get fined? Ah, uh, well, yes. Yeah. The problem in France, or the problem, the, the, the rule in France is that you have to have a, a pro license. You have to have a UEFA pro license to be able to coach at the, the Ligue 1 level. So they do give... They do give teams a, a little bit of grace, mm-hmm. but um, after a certain after a certain time, they they get fined. I, I'm not exactly uh, sure of the fine. I think it's about twenty five thousand euros. Mm. Uh, that's even a significant amount of money per game. I mean, if you think yeah. about, he's, he's in charge for ten games. That's quarter of a million euros. Um, mm. That's that's a significant amount of money. I guess it's that's uh, more than three hundred thousand Canadian dollars, right? So, mm. it, it's it's a significant amount of money just for the guy to be, to be in charge. But but that's the way it is. They try and protect uh, coaching standards, which <laughs> ironically he's coaching a lot better than Oscar Garcia, who had the license. Um, yeah. 
<laughs> and they didn't get fined for, but he wasn't getting the results. Will still getting the results, but doesn't yet have the license. Uh, so they yeah. get they get fined. 